Rosemary Lemberg is again having to make a decision on a DWI arrest. Three months ago, it was her own, but now a prosecutor in her office is also charged. Brandon Grunwald was arrested on Sunday, suspected of DWI. He's worked as a prosecutor in Travis County for five years, and Lemberg says his performance in that time was excellent. But how drunk driving cases are handled, especially when it's a DA employee, will once again be magnified. Our Chris Sadegi joining us live with how this case is already different from the norm. Well, Lindbergh did not resign, and she said yesterday she usually does not fire her employees for a first-time DWI, but in both Lindbergh and now Grunewald's cases, the penalties for a first-time DWI have been stiffer than usual. Part of Brandon Grunewald's bond was a breathalyzer to start his car. We talked to DWI attorney Ken Gibson, and he says right away, that is not typical. It's highly unusual um, for a person to have ignition airlock placed on their car for a first-time DWI. So then why was it? Gibson thinks it's likely because of a different standard that could exist. This case is not really any different than any other case uh, that we handle is because it's an assistant district attorney that was charged. Jail time is also highly unusual for first-time offenders, yet Rosemary Lindbergh served 22 days. Grunewald's refused a breathalyzer at the scene, but blood was drawn and test results are pending. Like Lindbergh's case, County Attorney David Escamilla will prosecute Grunewald. He's not going to go more lenient because this is assistant district attorney. It's gonna go through the system. It's gonna be handled just like anybody else. But what about keeping his job? Lindbergh released a statement saying she met with Grunewald and would also wait until all facts are known before deciding a punishment, but that first time DWIs usually do not end in termination. Anyone terminated before having their case heard would also be very rare according to Gibson. I don't believe I've ever had anybody that was actually fired just because they've been accused. And another thing at play here, DA employees do not have the same employee handbook as other county employees. There's actually a separate one for employees of an elected office. We're in the studio tonight. Chris Sadegi, KXAN News.